Hello gin lovers and welcome back to No Nonsense Gin Reviews with me, Bobby Freeman, where today we have a very small but rather beautiful looking blue bottle for you and it goes by the name of Warner Edwards Harrington Dry Gin. However, however, my friends, I believe I have a slightly older bottle here because they are now known, as I found out on the website, they are now known solely as Warner's, not Warner Edwards. So I don't know what happened to Edwards, but he is gone. He is out there. He's out the picture. But I believe it is the same original gin that they created together. Now, this was actually recommended to me by the lovely people at the Gin Box Shop. And as you can see, that is their beautiful logo there. And if you do um, uh, fancy a gin that is a little bit out of the ordinary or sort of a little bit quirky, not necessarily available in the mainstream, then these guys are the chaps to go and visit because they really know what they're doing and they have an extraordinary selection of eclectic gins on their website. And I will put a link to that in the section below. So I thoroughly recommend you give it a visit. Now, they don't go overboard with detail about it on the website, to be honest. They just say it's, it's distilled in Northamptonshire on their family farm, and they've got a lovely little list of the ingredients here. Now, nothing sort of crazy and bonkers in here, but it's sort of the ingredients that you know. You think, yeah, that's going to be a good gin. So you've got your, your juniper, coriander seed, elderflower, cardamom, black pepper, nutmeg, cinnamon, angelica root, orange peel, lemon peel, and plus a secret ingredient. So I've no idea what that is, but I find that rather intriguing. So no more talking. Well, there will be some talking, but less mess around, no more reading shall we say, and let's get some in the glass shall we. So it is a sample bottle so we're not going to get a cork but never mind let's get the old top off and get her in the glass. So get in there my son, oh look at this it's definitely going to be a clean ball this time because it's such a tiny bottle, beautiful amount in there and let's have a sniff shall we. Oh man alive, oh do you know what, I always say I don't really like the sniffing it's all pretentious all that but I'm really starting to get into it especially with these ones that just really have such Pleasant smells, that. Oh, it just fills you with just gin goodness. There's everything that should be in there. You've got the beautiful amount of citrus, backed up with that sort of like core tone of the spiciness. Kind of something a bit flowery and floaty around in there. A bit of a, I, I, I'm sensing that, I, I definitely get the sense that there is a mystery element in there. I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me tell you what it is, but all I know is it smells bloody nice. So let's marry her up with the tonic, shall we? About half and half now I do. Beautiful. Right then, my friends. Warner's Harrington Dry Gin. Cheers. Oh, did it with the wrong hand. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, do you know what? That was a gin that usually sort of get all the flavours in one big go, or perhaps with an aftertaste. But this one, it was like they got a little sort of uh, flavour when it touches the lips, and then it give you one thing, but then it's like another flavour running, slammed in behind it straight away. It was like a little sort of zestiness uh, as soon as it touched the, lip, uh, the, the lips. And then you got this sort of huge sort of sense of sort of a rumbunctious spiciness. God, that sounds pretentious, doesn't it? But it kind of is. Let me have another go. Yeah. Oh yes, it's kind of like, it's like, I knew it would be, with all those ingredients, it was kind of shaken up, shaping up to be the perfect gin taste. And I would put this one along with one of my core gins, like your, your, so your Tanqueray's, I'd say the Tanqueray number 10, you know, the sort of the premium version, your Beefeater 24's, your Sipsmith's, but definitely, definitely with a real unique twist on it. It's sort of, it's this very big, it's very big on the oranges, which I love. I've always said, any gin that has a big flavor of orange has always got my vote. But then there is, you do get a sense there's something else there, it's not quite what it is, but I kind of like that. I kind of like there's something out there, we don't know what it is, a little bit of a mystery element, and it really makes it stand out from the crowd. Let me go another go. Yeah, and there's just, I really, really love when you get an essence of cinnamon in there, and it's definitely in there. It's got, it sort of gives it that sort of central sort of um, sort of uh, flavor that everything else to kind of hang off. And it's, oh, it's again, again, I, I repeat myself a lot here, but it's, it's all about balancing the flavors. And this, you can tell a lot of thought and a lot of effort and a lot of love went into this. You can tell people have spent time over it and tested it and tried it. It's just beautiful. It's one of those ones that I think, in fact, I would probably be one of my central core figures now, that I would see it on the shelf. One of those ones you think, you know what, that one, I'm never gonna be disappointed. That's not gonna let me down. So Warner's, that is 
Awesome. Also, very good on the strength as well. ABB, 44%, I think I said it was. That side, it's nice and peppy. It's got a bit of punch to it as well. All round, very, very nice. Top Works, Warners. Now then, little bit, little bit on the pricey side. It's 33 pounds, which is about 43 dollars. About the same in euros, about 33. But I'm not too worried about that because if you're going to go above my 30 pound limit, at least make yourself good. And I think they've more than proven that. That is excellent. I'm, I'm, as you say, as I say, I don't like to spend more than 30 pounds. But occasionally, it's, and again, they are a small distillery, so you need to try and support these smaller distilleries to make the, keep the gin uh, industry kind of interesting. And they have to charge a little bit more very often to be able to make some money. So Topworks, I'm very, very impressed with that. Keep it. In fact, my friends at Warners, I would say to you, keep up the good work. So guys, that was Warner's Harrington Dry Gin. I, it's a fairly short, succinct review today, but sometimes you get a gin that d doesn't do anything wild and wonderful and sort of ridiculous. It just does gin, but it does it bloody brilliantly. And, and let's face it, where would we be without those? I dread to think, my friends, I dread to think. So if you've enjoyed this video today, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the like button and the bell icon so you get notified when all of my videos come out. And I will quite literally see you all next time on No Nonsense Gin Reviews, where I shall be Bobby Freeman. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.